We are here in the FNTV studio talking about the importance of resilient backup for national security. So, Sandy Gita, can you talk to me a little bit about why it's important to have a resilient backup to GPS and also what we can learn for, from some recent cyber incidents and outages that have occurred? Yeah, GPS is everywhere. We do we use it all the time, right? Mapping, navigation. It's, it's also important for timing. And a lot of our critical uh, infrastructure depends on timing from GPS, uh, whether it be the grid, um, banking, um, as well as the air traffic control. There's been a lot of incidents recently that have uh, shown that G outage of GPS is a problem for us, and we need something as a complement and backup. There's a 14 billion loss uh, to the economy, impact to the economy, if GPS doesn't work. Um, and that's why we need something um, to back up. GPS. GPS, as important as it is, it has, uh, it has issues and, and we need something when it doesn't work. And Andrew, I know that GPS has been an issue for public safety as well. Can you talk about that? Yeah, I mean, positioning is critically important. Um, a year after I graduated from undergrad, uh, six firefighters, the Worcester Six, died in a fire mm. uh, December 3rd, 1999. I think they were within 50 feet of the door and it's because they couldn't figure out where they were and get out of the building. Um, and, and so that was my baptism into why position matters for public safety. And then I spent about 15 years working in public safety with the Department of Commerce where they have public safety developed requirements for submeter resolution, right, in three different dimensions. And so I think anything that backs up or augments, uh, you know, positioning is critically important to the community. Okay, Sanikita, I heard you mention timing. So I want to throw this question to Gil and Chikasan. So talk to me about why timing is important and how that impacts uh, national infrastructure and how we can strengthen that, Gil, maybe you see. Yeah. So timing is enabler for positioning and navigation, meaning no timing, no PNT, okay. number one. <clears throat> number two, uh, without uh, uh, timing, we are not going to have any mobile infrastructure, we're not going to have any power, anything that you already mentioned, and there are many more, defense and such. There is amazing video on YouTube from many years ago that showing what happened without GPS for 24 hours, which is terrifying, <laughs> but it's become more of reality these days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the old 5G TDD system rely on the timing. And the, if we lose GPS within a few days, all the 5G will be shutting down. Oh, jeez. So, <laughs> so it's very critically important. Well, that doesn't sound good at all. So talk to me a little bit more about how 5G and AI enhance uh, reliability and resilience for mission critical applications. Well, you know, I mean, I certainly, you know, if you walk on the show floor, we hear all about AI, right? Every, everything is AI. You know, 6G is going to be the first AI native RAN. Mm. And so then it becomes a question of, well, what does that mean? And, you know, the moment you can start to use machine learning and artificial intelligence at the edge of the network, the kind of things that you can do in managing how spectrum works, augmenting, again, position navigation and timing, right? I think the, the sky's the limit. And so I think we're going to see some really interesting capabilities come out of that. Yeah, and, and more importantly, uh, also from a, from a 5G perspective, um, the 5G standards incorporate uh, something called position reference signals, and we at NextNav are utilizing the 5G uh, capabilities, the standard 5G 3GPP capabilities, to, to, to propose a terrestrial backup to GPS based on a 5G network. Mm -hmm. 5G networks are ubiquitous. I mean, they, they pretty much cover the entire uh, country, and we would be using that infrastructure in our 900, lower 900 megahertz band to build a network that not only um, supports and can not only deliver data, but as well as PNT, and that's a t terrestrial backup that uh, we are proposing to this. We are working with the FCC okay. for that. Any final thoughts, you guys? You know, one thing that the, the Japanese government also recognized uh, the issue of that, and they officially started the granting the spectrum licenses, and uh, coming soon. Good. Uh, you know, again, I just can't you know state the the importance of both from a backup and anything we can do to augment positioning is it affects all the different kinds of industries and different verticals that we talked about. Yeah, and, and the beauty of a 5G-based solution is that um, it's it can be incorporated into consumer devices, right? Most consumer devices now support uh, 5G, and if we enable this on a network uh, and it's available on the device, uh, you can, you it's, 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 an, it's a way to get scale yeah. uh, using a standards-based technology. Um, and as well, you can build a system of systems for timing. Um, yes, so maybe we need to mention the challenge, not talking about 6G, let's start with 5G, 5G. which <laughs> is not fully deployed today. Yes. Uh, 
the real requirement is 100 nanosecond in the axis between the DU and the RU. And this is not easy to achieve, definitely not on the current infrastructure. So without it, we are not going to have real 5G with open run, all the nice stuff that we are planning. 6G is talking about 10 nanosecond, which is even much more difficult to achieve. So there is a long way to go in order to be able to enable 6G from the timing perspective. So you guys heard it here first, timing and location more important than you thought. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us today. Thank, thank you, you Dan. Thank you.